What if I told you that most people in their lifetime make a $10,000 mistake without even realizing it? Shocking, right? But it's true. And today, we're diving deep into not just one, but several mistakes that could be draining your bank account and how you can avoid them. Welcome back to M Squared, the channel where we break down money matters in ways that are easy to understand and, more importantly, actionable. If you're looking to be financially responsible, this video is especially for you because the financial choices you make today will set the stage for your future. So, let's talk about how to avoid the pitfalls that could cost you big time. Mistake number one, credit card debt. First up, the one mistake that's incredibly common, credit card debt. It usually starts small. You swipe your card for a few groceries, maybe a night out with friends, or that new gadget that just dropped. But before you know it, your balance is growing faster than you can pay it off. Imagine this. The average 20-something carries about $3,000 in credit card debt. With interest rates often around 20%, this can easily balloon to over $10,000 in just a few years. That's money you could have saved, invested, or used to achieve something far more meaningful. Want a real-life example? Lifestyle inflation. Here's another example of a common mistake. Lifestyle inflation. You just got a raise at work, and instead of saving or investing the extra income, you decide to upgrade your lifestyle. New apartment, nicer car, more dining out. It feels good at the moment, but over time, these expenses can eat up all your extra income, leaving you with nothing to show for your hard work. A better approach? Try to maintain your current lifestyle for a while after getting a raise. Use that extra money to pay off debt, build an emergency fund, or start investing. It might not be as glamorous as a new car, but your future self will thank you. Mistake number two, not starting to invest early. Another mistake is waiting too long to start investing. You might think, I'll start investing when I'm making more money. But the truth is, time is your greatest ally when it comes to building wealth. Thanks to compound interest, even small investments can grow significantly over time. For instance, if you start investing just $100 a month at age 25, and you continue doing that until you're 65, with an average annual return of 7%, you could have over $260,000. But if you wait until you're 35 to start, that number drops to about $120,000. So, the sooner you start, the more time your money has to grow. Mistake number three, spending too much on rent. Let's talk about another common mistake overspending on rent. It's easy to get caught up in wanting the perfect apartment in the trendy part of town. But if your rent is eating up more than 30% of your income, it's time to reassess. Instead of stretching your budget for a fancy place, consider living with roommates or in a more affordable neighborhood. The money you save can go toward paying off debt, saving for a down payment on a house, or investing in your future. Please subscribe to our channel for more valuable content. Mistake number four, falling for lifestyle traps. Social media doesn't help either. The constant stream of influencers flaunting luxury lifestyles can make you feel like you're falling behind if you're not doing the same. But here's the reality. Most of those luxury lifestyles are either heavily financed by debt or exaggerated for the gram. Instead of comparing yourself to others, focus on what's truly important to you. Is it more stuff? or is it financial freedom? Real wealth isn't about having the latest designer bag or driving a fancy car. It's about having the financial security to live the life you want on your own terms. Beware subscription overload. Another sneaky mistake is subscription overload. It's easy to lose track of all those $9.99 monthly fees. Streaming services, gym memberships, premium apps, you name it. Individually, they seem harmless, but together they can add up to hundreds of dollars a year. Take some time to review your subscriptions and ask yourself which ones you really use. Cancel the ones you don't and put that money to better use, like contributing to an emergency fund or paying down debt. Avoid these mistakes. So, how do you avoid falling into these traps? First, be mindful of your spending. Track where your money is going each month. If you notice that your expenses are creeping up, it might be time to make some changes. Second, prioritize investing. Even if it's just a small amount each month, start early and let compound interest work its magic. 
Lastly, live within your means. It's tempting to upgrade your lifestyle as your income grows, but staying grounded and focused on your long-term goals will pay off in the end. Avoiding these mistakes can set you up for financial success in your 20s and 30s and beyond. If this video helped you see your finances in a new light, share it with a friend who might need to hear this too. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more tips on how to manage your money smarter. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.